हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम मिसेस अंजली शिंदे असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मॅथमॅटिक्स एस व्ही के टी कॉलेज देवळाली कॅम्प इन द प्रिव्हियस लेक्चर वी हॅव स्टडीड हाऊ टू फाईंड एन्थ डेरिवेटिव्ह ऑफ सम स्टँडर्ड फंक्शन्स टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू सी लेबनीज थिअरम लेबनीज थिअरम इज जनरली यूज टू फाईंड द एन्थ डेरिवेटिव्ह ऑफ प्रॉडक्ट ऑफ टू फंक्शन्स सो द थिअरम स्टेट्स दॅट y is equal to u into v where u and v are functions of x possessing derivatives of nth order then the nth derivative of y denoted by the notation y n that is nth derivative of the product u v is given by the formula n c 0 u n v plus n c 1 u n minus 1 v 1 plus n c 2 u n minus 2 v 2 so on n c r u n minus r v r plus n c n u v n where n choose r is nothing but n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial. So this is statement of Leibniz theorem. It is used to find the nth derivative of product of two functions u and v. To prove this, we are going to use principle of mathematical induction. So proof is by using principle of mathematical induction. We want to prove nth derivative of y is given by this formula. To prove this, the first step is Prove this result for n is equal to 1. So if y is equal to uv, what is first derivative y1? By product rule we know that y1 is nothing but derivative of u into v plus u v1. First derivative of u into v plus u into derivative of v. That is nothing but y1. We are able to write this as 1 c0 u1 v plus 1 c1 u v1. As 1 c0 and 1 c1 both are having values 1. Observe that y1 if you put n is equal to 1 here we will get same result 1 c0 u1 v plus 1 c1 u v1 so this implies that the result is true for so this implies that the result is true for n equal to 1 so in the first step of mathematical induction we have proved that the result is true for n equal to 1. Now we will prove the result for n equal to some integer m. That is our second step. Assume that. So step 2 is. Assume the result. Is 
is true for some integer m. That is we assume that y m that is mth derivative of u v is given by m c 0 u m v plus m c 1 u m minus 1 v 1 plus so on m c r minus 1 u m minus r plus 1 v r minus 1 plus m c r u m minus r v r plus m c m minus 1 u 1 v m minus 1 plus m c m u v m. So, we assume that the result is true for some integer m. We get this step y m. This is our assumption. And our next step is to prove the result for m plus 1. So, to prove the result for m plus 1, we differentiate this equation 1 to get y m plus 1. So, see what is y m plus 1. y m plus 1 is nothing but m plus 1 the derivative of u v. So, we differentiate this first. So, differentiation of this is nothing but m c 0. Use the product tool for these two functions. So, u m plus 1 v plus u m v 1 plus m c 1 into using the product rule for these two function it is u m v 1 plus u m minus 1 v 2 plus m c r minus 1 u m minus r plus 2 v r minus 1 plus u m minus r plus 1 v r plus m c r u m minus r plus 1 v r plus u m minus r v r plus 1 plus m c m minus 1 u2 vm minus 1 plus u1 vm plus mcm u1 vm plus uvm plus 1. We write this as mc0 um plus 1v plus Observe that these two terms taking common, it is nothing but mc0 plus mc1 um v1. Plus, every time we are getting successive terms, so we are having plus mc1 plus mc2. U m plus m minus 1 v 2 and so on. Like that, observe that we will get plus this term m c r m c r minus 1 plus m c r times u m minus r plus 1 v r and so on. Last term we get m c m minus 1 plus m c m u 1 
वी एम प्लस एम सी एम यू वी एम प्लस वन नो वी यूज द रिजल्ट विच आर नोन रिजल्ट फॉर कॉम्बिनेशन द रिजल्ट वी नो आर एम सी जीरो कैन बी रिटर्न एज एम प्लस वन सी जीरो बोथ आर हैविंग सेम वैल्यू और एम सी एम इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू एम प्लस वन सी एम प्लस वन एंड वी नो दैट एम सी आर माइनस वन प्लस एम सी आर इट इज नथिंग बट एम प्लस वन सी आर सो यूजिंग दिस थ्री रिजल्ट द अबाउ स्टेप्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज दिस स्टेप कैन बी रिटर्न एज एम प्लस वन सी जीरो यू एम प्लस वन वी प्लस This for this the formula is using this result the formula becomes m plus one c one u m v one plus so on for this the formula become m plus one c r u m minus r plus one v r plus this formula become m plus one c m U one V M and M C M can be written as M plus one C M plus one U V M plus one. Observe that this is nothing but Y M plus one. So this means that replacing N by M plus one, we get the same step. Means that the result is true for. M plus one. Assuming the result for n is equal to m, we have proved the result for m plus one also, and therefore by principle of mathematical induction, the result is true for. integer n thus we have proved leibniz theorem which gives the nth derivative of product of two functions u and v so to prove the theorem we have used mathematical induction and find the nth derivative of product of two functions Using Leibniz theorem. Now it can be used to solve examples. So consider the example. If y is equal to sine inverse x bracket square, show that one minus x square y n plus two minus two n plus one. X y n plus one minus n square y n equal to zero. We are going to use Leibniz theorem to prove this. So it is given that y is equal to sine inverse x bracket square. As we want to go to n plus two, we will differentiate this y two times as we want y n plus two. so we will differentiate this two times that is we will get y2 and differentiating y2 n times we will get y n plus 2 so we differentiate this term so we differentiating we get y1 is equal to 2 sin inverse x and derivative of sin inverse x is 1 upon root of 1 minus x square cross multiplying root of 1 minus x square y1 is equal to Two sine inverse x. As we know, sine inverse x bracket square is y. We square this term to simplify. So squaring, we get one minus x square y one square is equal to four sine inverse x bracket square. But we know that sine inverse x bracket square is nothing but y, and therefore this can be written as four y. That is one minus x square. Y one square is equal to four y. 
or we have 1 minus x square y1 square minus 4y equal to 0. Again differentiate this so that we will get y2. So differentiate this with respect to x using product rule. 1 minus x square as it is. Derivative of y1 square is 2y1 y2 minus derivative of x square 2x into y1 square as it is minus 4y1 equal to 0. Now take common 2y1 into bracket 1 minus x square y2 minus xy1 minus 2 equal to 0. As 2y1 is not equal to 0, we are able to write this as 1 minus x square y2 minus xy1 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now observe that we want to go up to n plus 2. Now we are getting y2. So we will differentiate this n times to get y n plus 2. So now differentiate n times using Leibniz theorem. So our step I am writing again. Our step is 1 minus x square y2 minus x y1 minus 2 equal to 0 and we are differentiating this n times. So by theorem this is nothing but n c 0 1 minus x square nth derivative of this nth derivative of 1 minus x square y2 c. Now there are two terms 1 minus x square and y2. When there are two terms u and v what we are doing we are taking the second function v such that its derivative vanishes and u is such that you are able to find its nth derivative. Now there are two terms 1 minus x square and y2. So what we are going to do we are going to use this as a first function u because we are able to find its nth derivative and as the derivative of 1 minus x square vanishes in few steps therefore we are going to treat this as v that is second function. So now we differentiate this term using Leibniz theorem what we get this is nothing but n c 0 nth derivative of u that is y n plus 2 nth derivative of u into 1 minus x square plus n c 1 y n plus 1 into derivative of 1 minus x square that is minus 2x plus n c 2 y n derivative of minus 2x that is minus 2. As the next derivative vanishes now this is the nth derivative of this first term. Similarly find the nth derivative of this term. So what you have to do assume y1 as a first function and x as a second function we will get n c 0 y n plus 1 into x plus n c 1 y n derivative of x is 1. nth derivative of 2 is 0 so this is equal to 0. So we are using Leibniz theorem when you say two functions we have to take u as a function whose nth derivative we know and v is such that its nth derivative after some steps its derivative vanishes. So what is this? It is n c 0 y n plus 2. n c 0 is nothing but 1. So y n plus 2 1 minus x square n c 1 is n into y n plus 1 into minus 2 x n c 2 is nothing but n into n minus 1 upon 2 into y n into minus 2 minus n c 0 is 1 x y n plus 1 minus n c 1 is n y n equal to 0. So this implies 1 minus x square y n plus 2 minus 
टू एन एक्स वाई एन प्लस वन प्लस दिस टू गेट्स कैंसल माइनस एन इंटू एन माइनस वन वाई एन माइनस एक्स वाई एन प्लस वन माइनस एन वाई एन इक्वल टू जीरो सिंप्लीफाइड वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वेर वाई एन प्लस टू नो सी ऑल वाई एन प्लस वन टर्म्स वाई एन प्लस वन टर्म्स आर दिस सो इट इज नथिंग बट टेकिंग एक्स वाई एन प्लस कॉमन सो माइनस टू एन प्लस वन टाइम्स एक्स वाई एन प्लस वन नाउ टेक वाई एन कॉमन सो माइनस एन वाई एन कॉमन इन टू ब्रैकेट एन माइनस वन एंड यू हेव टेकन एन वाई एन कॉमन सो प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो दिस गेट्स कैंसल वी गेट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वेर वाई एन प्लस टू माइनस टू एन प्लस वन एक्स वाई एन प्लस वन माइनस एन स्क्वेर वाई एन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट वॉट वी रिक्वायर टू प्रूव सो इट इज वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वेर वाई एन प्लस टू माइनस टू एन प्लस वन एक्स वाई एन प्लस वन माइनस एन स्क्वेर वाई एन इक्वल टू जीरो सो हैव डिफरेंशिएट ट्वाइस एंड देन डिफरेंशिएट एन टाइम सो टू गेट वाई एन प्लस टू एंड वाई डिफरेंशिएटिंग वी टेक टू फंक्शन यू एंड वी यू इट्स फर्स्ट फंक्शन इट इज सच दैट we know its nth derivative and v is a function whose derivative vanishes in finite steps so we are able to prove the result take one more example if x is equal to tan of log y prove that वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर वाई एन प्लस वन प्लस टू एन एक्स माइनस वन वाई एन प्लस एन एन माइनस वन वाई एन माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो सो इट इज गिवन दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन ऑफ लॉग वाई देर फोर टेन इनवर्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू लॉग वाई और y इज इक्वल टू ई रेस टू टेन इनवर्स एक्स नाउ डिफरेंशिएट दिस वंस देर फोर वाई वन इज इक्वल टू ई रेस टू टेन इनवर्स एक्स डेरीवेट टू ऑफ ई रेस टू एक्स इज ई रेस टू एक्स एंड डेरीवेट टू ऑफ टेन इनवर्स एक्स इज वन अपॉन वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर दिस इम्प्लाइज वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर वाई वन इज इक्वल टू ई रेस टू टेन इनवर्स एक्स But e raised to tan inverse x is nothing but y from this step, and therefore this is equal to y. That is one plus x square y one is equal to y. Or we can write one plus x square y one minus y equal to zero. Now we differentiate n times using Leibniz theorem. Because we want y n plus one, after differentiating one times, we directly differentiate n times. While using Leibniz theorem, the first function u is treated as y one, and one plus x square is second function v because its derivative vanishes in few steps. So differentiating this, we get n c zero y n plus one into one plus x square plus n c one. y n into 2x plus n c 2 y n minus 1 into 2. The next derivative of 2 is 0, so first it's completed minus nth derivative of y that is y n equal to 0. Simplifying n c 0 is 1, so it is 1 plus x square y n plus 1. n c 1 is n. So two n x y n n c two it's n n minus one upon two into y n minus one into two 
minus yn is equal to 0. 2 gets cancelled, so this implies 1 plus x square yn plus 1 plus 2nx yn minus yn both common plus n into n minus 1 yn minus 1 equal to 0. And taking yn common, we get the step 1 plus x square yn plus 1 plus 2nx minus 1 into yn plus n into n minus 1 yn minus 1 equal to 0. So, using Leibniz theorem, we can find the nth derivative of product of two functions. In the next lecture, we will see more examples on Leibniz theorem. Thank you.